All right, I am here today to tell us that uh, we have seen plants that can produce blood. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I will talk about today. That um, we have seen that trees can now produce blood. Wonderful. I hope that sounds so amazing, right? Let's watch this video, then we'll come back and talk on it. <laughs> Okay, so as I just watched the video now, let's talk about this. I know that uh, they just, from the video, they just put some sound that can make it to look more spiritual than logical, so that you believe that really this is blood in real life, in real life. And uh, in some Nollywood movies, in some African magics we watch, we see where in seven rivers and seven forests, where people worship trees. They tie some red clothes or some other colors of clothes around the trees. Every morning they appease it by killing some cows or some goats or some fowls with cola nuts, with yam, appeasing it, worshipping it. Very good. So, and then they sprinkle blood around the tree, worship it, worshipping it, doing everything with the tree. So, and then it happens that uh, most often, when such trees are to be cut down, and they bring the machine they will use to cut it down, or the cutlass, or the axe, and they begin to cut it down. And the, these red substances, which we call sap, begin to drop from the tree, being reddish in color as it appears now. They will shout, Oh, this tree is bleeding. <laughs> this tree is bleeding. This is blood from this tree. So we have to appease it. They will begin to appease it. They will can buy more uh, fowl or goats or rams and slaughter for it. Buy um, yam, buy cola nuts, and then call some elders to come and uh, appease to the tree before they will not cut it. Saying that it's bleeding, it's crying. It's not their fault, it's not their fault. Yes, I can remember when we are too tender, when we are still in our, in our primary schools, all those things. So we know there are some stories, especially some of our parents tell us um, concerning some sacred traditions. Yes, I will call it that way, sacred traditions. So they will say, this tree, ah, it has been so long, it has stood for this place for long. People have worshipped it, forefathers, this and this and this. Therefore, it is not crying, it is not bleeding. All these are blood. <laughs> so sometimes they even embark on some ritual sacrifices before they cut it down because they believe that this red uh, or this red substance is dropping are blood. So they are not blood. I'm telling you, they are not blood. Now let's talk about this content. Let's talk about what it is. This is simply what we call sap. Every fluid from the plant, they are called sap. You will not ask me what is not the difference between the sap and the normal blood because this one, this sap now looks like blood. So now, what is then the reason why I should say that this sap is not blood? The reason is simple. The only thing that can produce blood is simply woman. Woman. Or let me not say woman. Animals, 
animals because animals they are the only organisms that have the capacity or capable capable of producing hemoglobin and we never come to this animal not even all animals so you see that red blood cell is special very much special so you don't get it easily so not even every animal produces red blood cell yeah not every animal because red blood cells are produced majorly in the bone marrow being pumped by the heart so you see that even some other um organisms that are some other um animals that don't have true circulatory um system can't even produce blood yeah that is it so you see this is why that thing you are seeing in that plant is not blood rather it is what you call the sap or you can call it plant juice so we have many resources or many uh yeah just things we can get from plants naturally naturally plants are very very important in our society every but everything from plants is useful to us for our own use either we use them raw or we use them cooked or we use them processed so even the sap we are saying so there are there are resources from the plants they can be used to, to produce other things like we all have the gum we can get gum from plants we can get the fruits from plants <clears throat> The fruit, either the one we eat raw or when we eat processed, we get leaves from the plant, either the one we eat raw or the one we eat processed, or even as medicines, we get roots from the plants, either the back of the roots or the roots entirely, we get them as medicinal, either by cooked or either by boiled, by processed or by raw. So the leaves, so you see, plants, all of them. All of them are natural. Our natural resources. That's from plants, from plants. I'm talking about natural resources from plants. They are natural because we're not the ones that produce it in them. So that's how they produce. So and they have the capacity to synthesize using the sunlight to produce their own food in the combination of the mineral resources from the soil and the carbon, carbon for oxide. So you see that this are the ways plants live they don't produce red blood cell simply because of these reasons i just gave you now that is only animals that can produce red blood cell and we go to the animals not even all animals that can produce it any animal that doesn't have true circulatory system cannot produce blood cannot circulate it because once you produce blood it must circulate okay so no matter however um no matter any kind of noise strange voices sounds heavy trees or how however the tree appears to be so heavy so tall so scary they cannot produce blood okay so just get it get it today okay get it at the tips of your fingers that they cannot, they cannot, because they don't have the capacity to produce it. So red blood cell is a special, is a special thing to higher animals. It's a special thing, so it's not it doesn't common. So not everything can produce it. So that's that, that's the clear difference. So that's the clear difference. So no matter the color of it, I have just said what can make the sap to be that color. What can make the sap to be that color is only invasion of either bacteria or fungi. From outside in, into the tree. Now, when they not mix up with the fluids in the in the tree, so the tree can yes change the color of the sun because some things have invaded and they live they co they, they coexist in such Jewish um, membrane. Okay, so plants they have their tissues. And even this plant itself, not all of them that can, you can see this um, fluid in. So we can talk about this fluid. We talk about the because we have types of the trees. We have like the um, Teredophyta, Talophyta, um, and some other one. Even the 
spermatophyta. So this one is under the spermatophyta. Big trees. So that have true roots, true stem, true leaves, vascular bundles. They have conducting tissues. Hmm? Supporting tissues too, like the cholecyma, the sclerenchyma, the parenchyma. So all of them, when they are intact, so they are capable of producing this fluid you are seeing here. Okay? And when they produce this fluid, no matter wherever the plant is, the fluid remains sap. It's gonna kind of change to blood. As, as 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 far as as far as science is concerned, in religion they can believe it, but if they should take it to lab, they if they if they, if they should take this red red substance into the lab with human blood or with animal blood, they will see the difference. Here. And the difference is what I'm telling us. Now the, the difference is there are many differences. Yes, in as far well as uh, we, we get most of the resources, most of the um, yeah resources like either the mineral source, the vitamins, whatever, from them, from plants. But this particular hemoglobin is in our blood, not in the plant, not in their fluid. So let's get it okay because i was amazed when i saw some people commenting in the um, comment session where i saw some posts like that so people were commenting ah making some comments so i was like really so have you come to the age to the world where pra where plants now produce blood the answer is no we have not come to that maybe maybe tomorrow but at least right now as i'm speaking Plants don't produce blood. They don't. Okay. So, always do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, my Facebook page, follow me, encourage us. Your reactions, like, comments, share too. Your engagement encourages us. Hmm? Your engagement encourages us. So, when you engage, we feel like, okay, we're giving you at least something useful, something important, something that makes sense. So please keep on supporting us and uh, please don't forget subscribe to my youtube channel if you see wherever you see this my video follow me thank you so much for your support so far thank you so much hoping to see you next time in my video